Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I just wanted to show you a couple of things about Facebook and how to use it for your business. Now, what you have to do first is you have to go and make a personal page for yourself. So that's easy, you just go to facebook.com and you register for an account and do the usual things. It's quite easy, you just upload a photo and stuff like that. Um, and you can go and find friends if you want to, but if you don't want to, that's fine. Now, because we're doing this for business, so um, after you've got your Facebook page, we want to go up the top here and we want to create. So we're just going to type in create um, and we type in create new Facebook page. I'm just going to choose it from there. Now this will help you create a Facebook page. Now I'm not going to go with through it with you, um, but I do have a couple of tips. Um, I suggest that you put um, keywords in there. So if you're in the computer tips industry, try and make it computer tips page or compu computer tips for you or whatever okay um, then we've got local business brand or product uh, whatever now I've got a website or organization so I went for that one there and it'll have it should have a website there it is website down the bottom there okay now um, so if you had just a local business um, just go for this one here and we can go down the bottom and have a look it's got um, it doesn't have website in this one but it's got what type of business it is because um, I'm in the website game I'll choose that one in there okay if you're famous and you're a public figure you can press this one put the page name in um, and stuff like that now this is an official page here so this is the one that I've done because it was for business okay um, and now I'm going to show you my pages okay so this is my home page and um, what I'm going to do now is go and manage I'm going to show you some pages that I've got so if I go up the top here and say account and manage pages I've got a choice of some pages here. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things. So I've already made my pages obviously so I'm going to press go to page. Now here is a um, page that I've got for a, a website and it's got an icon there. Um, now it could have a bigger icon I mean or a picture just right there for good advertising but I haven't done that yet. Um, this here as you can see we landed on the wall okay which is great and also I have it set to other people being able to post on the walls so we get a bit of interaction okay um, it looks a bit boring when you've got your own logo all the way down and um, no one else can post on it radio so um, I'm going to show you another page that I've got where I've actually um, put a bigger picture there okay I'll go back to manage pages and uh, we'll go to this one here go to page and this is the tips for PC um, Facebook page and as you can see I've made an image for it and the image at the time when I made it, um, it's a GIF image, so it's .gif, and I made it in Photoshop, but you can use something else if you like. And um, I made it 200 wide by 400 um, in height. Now I'm, I'm, I think you can make it a bit longer as well. So um, my next picture that I make for another page is going to be longer than that. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, it's not the best graphic. Um, I'm not a graphic artist or anything like that, but um, it does look better than the other page that we just had, okay? Because it's just small. This one's big and clear. All right.
and the same applies here that other people can post on the page okay and have some interaction now I'll quickly show you how I made um, the landing page for this so I, you go to your page right like I showed you up the top here you go to manage pages after you've already made them and then you go down and you say edit the page we want to um, do the manage permissions okay go up the top manage permissions and this is where you get to um, choose where the landing page is there it is there default landing page right um, it's got all these other options there and I like to let the users write on the wall and I also like to um, what's the other one I like? Oh, I can't remember, sorry. <laughs> no, here they can upload photos and add videos. Users can, okay? Um, and also the wall tab shows. This is the one that's important that annoys me. Here, only posts by the page or all posts. Now I absolutely hate it when they put only posts by the page. So look, you know seriously you want people to interact with you on your Facebook page and make it popular put all posts there also you can um, expand the comments which I like to do as well alright um, that's a couple of things that you can do the other thing is uh, we can go to the apps department and see what apps we have hooked into this page that's another thing go to marketing okay and here's where you get all those badges and stuff that you put on your website so you can add a like box to your website um, I think you need the URL of the page so basically go back and get the URL of the page so I'll go back first view page right here's the URL of the page it's a bit full on it actually it's actually from there okay there it is there so it's Facebook slash pages slash tips for PC and then the number okay all that there is just because I'm in it signed in and editing it and stuff so I'm going to go down to edit page and then I'm going to go to marketing okay and then we're going to press on now there's all these other things that you can do okay let's go add a like box okay because there's badges as well and stuff see there's like buttons whatever you can check it out right this is what I've got here on my page and see how you need the URL well I'm gonna paste it in now and just click over here so it changes to me it's gonna find my page see tips for PC if you didn't do the URL right then you'll find out here because it'll show up okay so this big part here shows the recent things that have been on there now you can take that away if you want I always press the untick it and just make a little box like that now here's the width of it you can just change it okay um, you know like I, I think I put mine at 200 because I've got a really skinny border okay um, you can go down a little bit more but you don't want to make it look odd I like to make it look even. If it's got three pictures, then you try and get the three pictures centering kind of thing. So you could probably go 185. Okay, see that? Okay, that's done. Now all you have to do that now that looks fine. People just press on it and say, "Yep, I like it." Right now, get the code, copy it, and then so you copy that code and you paste it into a text widget in your WordPress website or whatever website you're using but anyway uh, WordPress is the best by the way okay right so I hope you're getting some tips here for your business um, another great tip is when you have a post right this is what I do I um, I'll go to where is it okay just say this website here I'll just go to the home page it's WordPress website builder now 
what happens is this is my latest post and I haven't done any promotion on it yet so I'll go down to the next one that I did now here it is here now it has 21 people liking it on Facebook now I actually went and did some of that myself definitely not 21 but I did a few let's just say oh, six or seven to start off with okay and I did two tweets now this is how I did it right so I go to the page that I just made this is my newest post right this is great for promotion right so I, I, I'm at the actual page now I'm going up the top and I'm getting the URL I'm going to copy it up the top there in the address bar and now I'm going to Facebook right to promote my um, my stuff now let's just go back and get out of this out of this Facebook pagey thing alright it doesn't matter where I am now what I want to do is search for because my page has got to do with internet marketing internet marketing right so what I want to do I'm gonna press on see more results I'm gonna get a big list now as you can see I already like these ones here okay so what I'm gonna do is what this is how a page qualifies for me I click on it now I don't like this page right I mean it looks great and everything but it lands on the place where um, people can't interact okay if I click on this and if people are smart enough to click on this it will show where the other people's posts are but I'll put one in there anyway so we'll put the URL to the post in and share it okay now it's pretty boring now I don't like that page okay so right let's go to another one so press back uh, let's try this one internet marketing right now if you don't if you already haven't liked the page you have to like it before you post on it now this one's good because it's got all different people posting on it there's me even okay it's lots of different people which is great it makes it interesting as long as people aren't spamming it with junk so this isn't junk this is a free post about how to make money okay that's all it is okay so share it right there we go okay now if I do that a few more times let's go back um, let's see what page this one lands on it lands on the wall but it's all about them but you can also you, you can also if you like find something that relates to it and post it underneath and make a comment make a decent comment um, so you basically you've got to remember what the post is about and it's about making money online so I'll just go back sorry so basically here it is it says how to generate cash um, and I'll just write here's some more ways to generate cash y yep there we go just put a bit of a link underneath okay so there it is it's just a link okay it's done now that's how I promote and it does bring people in and, and it brings different people each time that they see something different now another thing is that if I liked that page which I don't particularly I would add it to my pages favorites but I'm not going to right so I'm gonna go to my um, like my internet marketing page so I go to manage pages and go to website web WordPress website builder and also down the bottom here it has got some favorites here okay now these must be things that you can post to so I'm gonna click on it see how there's lots of other people posting and I'm going to post my thing here see how to make money online share 
right? So what you've got to do, now I've already added this to my pages favourites, to this particular page. So this is an internet marketing blogging page, so I've added it to those favourites only. Alright, so let's go back to the post and have a look now. So it's how to make money online, let's click on it. Okay, so I'm on the post now and now it says three people are liking it. Now, um, this brings people in, there's no doubt about it. And there's plenty of other ways to promote your posts. Um, I actually did a really good article on this website that you'll have to come and find yourself. Um, where is it? Uh, Oh, it must be a little bit older than that. It's how to promote every post you do. Okay, just those little tiny tricks to promote every post on your website that you generate. Okay, all right, thanks for watching. Okay guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, um, you can click on the subscribe button up here and also click here um, and there's 238 other videos, okay? So subscribe, right? And also, um, usually when I do a video, I've got a link to the website that'll give you more information about what the video is about. So basically this video here is about Windows 7 tips at the moment and if you click on that link it'll take you to heaps more Windows 7 tips. Alright, um, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe on this button and visit my website down below. Alright, thank you.